It only took two weeks to clear a key Taliban stronghold in Helmand province, southern Afghanistan. Nad Ali had been controlled by insurgents for the past four years, as a breakdown in local governance had left the area ripe for exploitation. In part it's to do with the inability of the government of the day to be able to meet the needs of the people in terms of providing for their welfare uh, and for their prosperity. Um, and I think uh, some of the grievances were to do with how we were misrepresented in the early part of our deployment, such that they feared ISAF was working as an invading army of occupation, uh, all of which is not true, but that's how they, uh, they had it represented to them. And so it was those grievances which the Taliban got their claws into, um, and the situation then deteriorated in that early. Operation Moshtarak set out to separate the Taliban from the local population, which is exactly what's been done in Nad Ali. Denying the Taliban access to the people allows the Afghan government and local security forces to get amongst them and understand and address those underlying grievances which the Taliban exploited in the first place. The success of the entire campaign in central Helmand rests solely on the support of the local population. However, at this crucial tipping point, their decision to follow the Afghan government and its forces, supported by the international community, could still end up costing them their lives if found out and caught by the Taliban. So what's the way around this? It's reassurance, and, and that's the simple, the simple thing. Um, reassurance of um, of what, how we can protect them, um, and also demonstrating, as I said, how how we can help them. Um, it's our job to protect them from the intimidation. Um, it's their job then to to accept that uh, and to continue to help us to improve their lives. All that we can try and do in terms of our military operations is try and give them that confidence that they can trust us that we can provide for their security and that if they become part of that security it will be much more resistant to the Taliban. Haji Barakzai has only just recently returned back to the area now it is safe to do so. He fled for his life when what little security they had at that point was quickly overrun, and the Taliban then proceeded to target government officials. Now resuming his work as a local district leader, Mr Barakzai has a very clear and concrete mindset on how to move the country into the future. <laughs> Afghan and ISAF forces have reached this stage in many operations before now. They clear an area, hold it for a while, but then have to leave, allowing the Taliban to return. This time there's a new plan in place. The local security forces are staying put to allow the rollout of district development packages, which are aimed at implementing local governance, improving education and health services. It's too early to make a call on whether this new approach will work, but at least the local population are beginning to see a positive alternative to life under the Taliban. William Bonnet for the NATO Channel in central Helmand, southern Afghanistan.